Imagine waking up in 2026 and discovering that Tesla has finally broken all barriers to the impossible. Yes, the long-awaited Model 2, or Model Q, depending on who you ask, is about to hit the streets. A bold, compact hatchback with an estimated price of use $30,000. That figure alone would be enough to cause an earthquake in the market. But what's really driving people crazy are the leaks, the secret tests in Fremont, and the promise that this will be the most memorable car Elon Musk has ever put into the world. Sounds like an exaggeration? It might seem so, but the way he talks about it is chilling. After all, it's not every day that a car manufacturer promises to reinvent popular electric mobility and with its own unique style. Anyone who follows Tesla's saga knows that this affordable car talk isn't new. Elon Musk has been talking about it since the Roadster era. But unlike the stumbles and unexpected price increases with the Cybertruck and Model Y standard, the Model 2 seems to be coming with a surgical plan. Production will be in Fremont, an environment that already breathes innovation and where Tesla can control every inch of the process. And the most insane thing is that Musk is treating this car as a game changer, not only because of its price range, but because he believes this will be the most remarkable product presentation in the company's history. Seriously, he even said it could surpass the launch of the first Model S. The most intriguing thing about all this is that even though it's cheaper, the Model 2 won't be a stripped-down Tesla. No half-baked car here. It will fully integrate into the Tesla ecosystem. It will have cutting-edge software, over-the-air updates, and yes, it can be used as a robo-taxi. Imagine buying a cheap car and still being able to make money with it when you're not using it. It's as if Tesla has decided to democratize access to vehicle intelligence. And if there's one thing Elon knows how to do, it's turn the impossible into a product. Leaks from Chinese suppliers are further fueling the buzz. Since September of last year, several companies have started receiving specific orders from Tesla for components for a new hatchback. This never happens by chance. Anyone who remembers the rumors surrounding the Model Y standard knows how accurate these leaks usually are. And what's being said now is that the Model 2, Pau 2, will be smaller than the Model 3, lighter, faster to produce, and, most importantly, with a new visual identity. No miniature Model 3, this one will have its own look. And speaking of looks, rumors point to an aggressive front design with sharp headlights and unique lines. No light bar on the front, as some expected. It will be bolder, more direct, almost as if saying, I'm here to dominate. And you know what's most curious? Precisely because it's compact, it has become the darling of Tesla's engineering department. A smaller car allows the use of gigacasting technology in its most extreme version, basically molding the entire car in a single piece. This is surreal for those who know the challenges of the automotive industry. The reason so many people are betting heavily on the Model 2 goes far beyond its design and price. The real secret of this revolution lies within it, the Shengxing 2 battery. Developed by the Chinese giant CATL, this new LFP cell has caused a stir throughout the automotive industry. Just to give you an idea of the impact, we're talking about a battery that promises to achieve 800 kilometers range. That's right, 500 miles, and also support incredibly fast recharging, adding more than 500 kilo of range in just five minutes. It sounds like science fiction, but it's exactly the kind of technology that changes the rules of the game. For a long time, LFP batteries were treated as cheaper but less powerful solutions. They did have good durability, yes, but they lacked energy density and recharge speed. What CATL achieved with the Shengxing 2 was simply to break this paradigm. It not only delivered a brutal leap in performance, but also kept production costs very low. This means that, unlike traditional batteries that force automakers to choose between power and price, this one offers both and more with superior thermal safety, lower fire risk, 
and reliable performance even in cold regions. Tesla, which already used LFP batteries in some Model 3 and Model Y models, saw the Shenxing 2 as a golden opportunity. Initial tests with conventional LFP batteries for the Model 2 were considered unsatisfactory, mainly in terms of charging time. And that's where KTL came in with its ace in the hole. The final version of the Shenxing 2 managed to maintain electrical stability even at temperatures of 10 tritikrix, recharging from 5% to 80% in just 15 minutes. This changes everything, especially for consumers living in cold climates, where batteries tend to suffer more. Furthermore, this cell is the world's first LFP to allow ultra-fast charging at 12C, a technical term that, translated, means the battery can charge incredibly fast without degrading. In 30 seconds, it already offers more than 75 hierns hours of range. In five minutes, it offers more than 500 kilometers. This completely removes range anxiety from the equation. Who would have imagined that an affordable car in 2026 would have numbers that surpass luxury models sold today for more than you $70,000? And the best part? With production costs reduced to the point of putting an electric Tesla in the garage of millions. Another detail that makes this battery shine is its design flexibility. The Shenxing 2 allows Tesla to use smaller packs, optimizing weight and opening up space for other improvements in vehicle design. It is speculated that the Model 2 will use a pack with around 50 km, which would already be sufficient for 500 km of range thanks to the efficiency of this new generation. Less weight, more interior space, lower cost, and real range for long trips. It's the kind of balance that competitors haven't yet been able to achieve. While the Shenxing 2 battery promises to be the energy brain of the Model 2, the magic on the outside is no less impressive. Tesla has decided to do something bold, something that defies the logic of the traditional automotive industry, to build an entire compact car as if it were a single piece. Yes, that's right. Instead of assembling the vehicle from hundreds of joined metal parts, Tesla will use the next generation of gigacasting technology, fusing virtually the entire structure of the Model 2 as if it were a solid block of aluminum. This is engineering at the limit of what was believed possible for affordable cars. And it's not just a matter of aesthetics or innovation for innovation's sake. This approach drastically reduces assembly complexity and accelerates the production time of each unit. Fewer parts, fewer screws, fewer steps on the assembly line. The result? A car that is faster to manufacture, cheaper, and with fewer points of failure. And when Tesla says it will produce this car faster than any other complex vehicle ever made, it means it. This means that the Fremont production lines may be about to become a spectacle of unprecedented industrial efficiency. In terms of design, the Model 2 will break with the premium minimalist pattern of current models. It won't be a miniature Model 3 or a scaled-down version of the Model Y. Tesla wants this hatchback to have its own personality, more aggressive, urban, and striking. The headlights should follow a new pattern, with sharper lines and a stronger visual presence, but without futuristic exaggerations. And despite initial expectations of a front light bar, sources indicate that the look will be cleaner and more restrained reinforcing the model's unique identity without falling into cliches. Inside, the simplification continues, and here's a point that divides opinions. Tesla is cutting everything it can to keep the price low. Panoramic sunroof, vegan leather seats, premium sound system, and even the traditional physical buttons. Everything will be replaced by a smaller central interface, between 10.5 and 11 inches, with touch controls and voice assistant. This may seem like a step backward to some, but it's precisely this choice that makes the car viable for the masses. Instead of luxuries, the focus is on the essentials, efficiency, connectivity, and low maintenance costs. Another interesting aspect is the choice of materials. The Model 2's interior will use fabric instead of synthetic leather 
and simpler sound insulation with regular glass instead of double glazing. Even the sound system will be more streamlined and the ambient lighting will be limited to a single functional tone. All of this may seem like a harsh cut, but there's a clever rationale behind it. Tesla wants to make it clear that luxury still exists in the brand, but not in this segment. Those who want more should go for the Model 3 or Y. The Model 2 is about access, not ostentation. And if the bold design and amazing battery weren't enough, Tesla is also preparing a new leap in automotive connectivity, something that seems to have come straight out of a science fiction movie. We're talking about the native integration of Starlink directly into the brand's vehicles. That's right, satellite internet, right in your car. It's no longer about watching Netflix while parked in a parking lot. Now it's about uninterrupted browsing, constant remote updates, guaranteed communication even in the middle of nowhere, and even safety in emergency situations. Elon Musk is opening the doors to a new era where the car is, literally, a node in the global data web. But how will this work in practice? Tesla isn't simply going to put a satellite dish on top of the car like a 90s camping TV. The recently filed patent reveals that the vehicle's roof will be made of materials transparent to radio waves. This means that signals from SpaceX satellites will be able to pass through the car's structure without interference. No external antennas, no visual clutter. The solution is elegant, invisible, and incredibly efficient. And more than that, it's a strategic move to create a closed ecosystem of hardware, software, and connectivity that no competitor has. Think about it. Tesla's autopilot relies on real-time data. Full self-driving constantly learns from millions of kilometers driven. Every second disconnected represents lost data and increased risk. With Starlink on board, the car will never be offline. Even in areas without cell phone coverage, the connection will be maintained via satellite. And this isn't just for navigation or updates. It's for saving lives. There have been cases of people dying after accidents or mechanical failures in remote areas without signal. With satellite internet in the car, a simple button is all it takes to send location and help. Another possibility that excites everyone is transforming the car into a high-speed mobile hotspot. Imagine using the Model 2 as an internet hub anywhere, whether on a vacation trip in the middle of nowhere or at an impromptu meeting in the car. And of course, anyone familiar with Tesla knows they don't release this kind of functionality lightly. It will come with its own management system, data security, and perhaps even monthly plans integrated with a Tesla account. This is no longer just a car. It's a command center on wheels. And when we consider the potential of this technology combined with the camping mode that already exists in current models, the scenario becomes even more interesting. Tesla already allows you to sleep in the car with air conditioning, a screen on, and ambient sound. Now, with unlimited internet wherever you are, the car becomes a nomadic office, a mobile cinema, or even a command post for those who live on the road. This completely changes people's relationship with the vehicle. It's not just transportation. It's an extension of digital life. Interestingly, all of this also has a darker side. Hyper-connectivity. Because with signal everywhere, the excuses for disconnecting also disappear. Notifications reach even the forest, and the idea of escaping the world can lose its meaning. Still, the freedom to choose to be online or offline remains a power in the user's hands. And having that choice is much better than being isolated without options, especially in critical cases where a few seconds of internet can be the difference between being found or not. While Starlink redefines what it means to be connected in a car, Tesla is already taking the next step in the autonomous mobility game with the mysterious and now increasingly real Cybercab. Yes, that two-seater car without a steering wheel, without pedals, and with a look that seems to have come straight out of a cyberpunk universe. Until recently, it was just a futuristic concept, but now 
It's already being tested on the streets of Austin with Tesla license plates and, believe it or not, with a human supervisor in the front seat. All this to meet legal requirements before entering full production in April 2026. It's curious to see this prototype circulating with rear-view mirrors and a steering wheel, when the original idea was always to eliminate any trace of human steering. But hold on, that's part of the plan. Legislation still requires manual controls in any car that drives on public roads, even if the ultimate purpose is precisely to eliminate them. So, for now, the Cyber Cab is in the adaptation phase a mix of technical tests and adjustments to meet federal safety standards. But the final idea is clear. A 100% autonomous car that doesn't require a driver, and that, in the future, you can call via your cell phone like an Uber, only without anyone behind the wheel. The most interesting thing is that this project didn't start from scratch. It shares some of the philosophy with the Model 2, but follows a different path. While the Model 2 focuses on mass production and accessibility, the CyberCab is a symbol of what comes next, the era where the car is no longer yours, but a service. It's Tesla's next step in the mobility ecosystem, creating a fleet of autonomous vehicles that operate 24 hours a day, with minimal maintenance and reduced cost per kilometer driven. And you know what that means? That the urban transportation market may be about to undergo the biggest disruption since the emergence of combustion engine cars. Leaked images show a compact vehicle with only two seats and a cabin that doesn't resemble a traditional car at all. It has no dashboard, rear view mirror, or gear shift. The interior space is entirely optimized for the passenger, with screens, connectivity, smart air conditioning, and perhaps even Starlink integration. In theory, it would be like entering a smart capsule that takes you wherever you want to go, silently, comfortably, and without a driver. A closed, safe, and above all, efficient environment. Real-world street testing isn't just a show for the press. It serves a critical function, data collection. Every turn, every braking maneuver, every interaction with pedestrians and traffic signals becomes raw information used to refine the full self-driving algorithms. This goes beyond simulations or test tracks. The CyberCab needs to face the real world with its unforeseen events, human errors, and unpredictable situations. That's where the system learns, evolves, and, over time, begins to react better than a human being. And how does all this connect to what we've seen so far? Simple. Tesla isn't just creating cars to sell. It's creating pieces of a complete ecosystem. The Model 2 can be used as a personal robo-taxi. Starlink ensures connectivity at any point along the route. And the CyberCab completes this cycle with a 100% autonomous urban transportation service. And if you still have doubts, just look at the tests already conducted with Model Ys operating as robo-taxis in Austin. They are driving themselves through the streets. Tesla isn't testing if it's possible. It's testing when it will scale. If the CyberCab is the future of urban transportation, the Tesla Semi Gen 2 promises a silent and powerful revolution on the roads that crisscross continents. Launched as one of Tesla's three core products for 2026, alongside the RoboTaxi and the Optimus robot, the new truck is not just a design update, it's a logistical and technological leap 